First, we'll put a quick door hanger directly behind each hinge. This helps stabilize the door, preventing it from becoming out of plumb. Next, we'll place three hangers here on the other side of the door. First hanger will be about eight inches from the top. Next hanger mounted just above the latch stop. The third bracket, that should be placed about six inches from the bottom of the door. This makes it much easier to keep the door reveal equal when we trim out the door. Okay, that's the last of the brackets. Now we can prep the opening for the door. We'll be drawing a plumb line about a half inch in on the hinge side of the wall. Here we're using a six foot level to keep the line straight. If you don't have a six foot level, a four foot level will work fine. All right, we're now ready to place the door into the opening. If carpet or finished flooring is to be installed later, make sure to place spacers equal to the thickness of the flooring down first to rest the door jam on. The only time you want to place the door jam directly onto the floor is if it's a finished floor. Now that we have our door in the opening, starting with the top of the hinge side, line up one of the brackets notches with this drawn line. Screw in this top hinge side bracket. I'm going to make sure it's good and tight. Note which notch of the bracket is lined up with the line. When screwing in the next two hinge side brackets, make sure the line goes through the exact same notch of the brackets. This keeps the door perfectly level. When you're fastening the final three brackets here on the latch side, be sure you check the spacing between the door and the door frame on the top of the door and to the first top bracket on the latch side. Be sure that you keep this same spacing as you move down and fasten those last two brackets. You may find you need to tweak the jam a little. The brackets are designed so that all you need to do is reverse the screw enough to move the bracket in or out based on what you need to adjust the door properly. Once in place, simply retighten the screw for a perfectly installed door. If you're installing a heavy solid core door, we recommend removing the center hinge screw from the hinges and replacing them with a long set screw for added support. The tabs that rest the bracket onto the door jam will be perfectly concealed by the trim or casing. They do not hold up the trim at all. If you're placing the door on a finished floor, you may need to trim the bottom of one side of the door jam for floor levelness. When installing a door and no drywall is installed yet, simply offset the brackets the distance of the drywall thickness. That's all there is to it. The door is hung perfectly level and we did it in a matter of minutes. Another great thing about this bracket is that it allows you to put your trim directly over it like so with zero interference. So you see the quick door hanger makes installing a door much easier and quicker. And if it saves you time, it's definitely a good investment.